Hey guys, welcome to Technability. We got an interesting video here today. <clears throat> we got a original Galaxy S 4G, uh, that's the Samsung Galaxy S original 4G for T-Mobile, running CM 10.1 4.2.2. And uh, we just flashed this on this phone, and I gotta say, right off the bat, it actually runs pretty well. Um, let me just show, go ahead and show you guys here. See right there, 4.2.2. You know, super responsive. For the original Vibrant, which has a single core gig processor, 4 inch display, uh, 800 by 480, I gotta tell you guys right off the bat, this thing is really, really stable. I know there's a few issues that they've spoke of, including uh, GPS. I haven't downloaded many apps, if any at all, we just flashed it. Uh, they claim that GPS doesn't work, but in terms of just regular day-to-day -day use, um, let me show you guys here. Super responsive. The keyboard, let's see, super responsive. Um, I mean, heck, for a Vibrant, for the original uh, Galaxy S Vibrant, it's not bad. You can see the camera here, fully functional, works fine. Swipe over, get my pictures. Um, I can swipe up and get rid of the pictures, undo it if I want to get them back. Uh, let's see what else here. Uh, of course, the Play Store is perfectly fine, perfectly functional. I'm just updating Google Search right now so that we can get Google Now operating. Um, the dialer, you know, stock jelly bean dialer. Um, the browser is really good. I mean, I gotta say, guys, this thing is um, pretty damn solid for a vibrant. Uh, you know, I had some requests, people telling me to review some lower, you know, older phones and older devices. And I know this is a fairly older device, but I just wanted to show you guys that anything is possible with these Android phones. I mean, to be able to install 4.2.2 stock Jelly Bean on a Galaxy S Vibrant, in my opinion, is pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, let's just go ahead and go to Google here. Sorry, the network is fairly slow. Um, but just to show you guys the settings here on the browser has all the settings that you get with the stock um, With any other build of CM10 uh, if you long press you get the wallpapers and whatnot CM10 wallpapers uh, Let me just show you guys the live wallpapers here So live wallpapers work perfectly fine. I got a fly here around me wallpapers work perfectly fine um, Pinch zoom Super responsive, and guys, this is a vibrant. I mean, a original Galaxy S, uh, and the, all again, all things are possible with a little bit of persistence. You can get anything installed on these phones. Uh, it's just a matter of putting in a little bit of effort and time. There you have the quick settings. Obviously, if I go uh, with two fingers, you get the quick settings. You get the regular notification uh, bar and um, the contacts. Of course, you got contacts here. So everything is fully functional, minus GPS and minus, I'm assuming, a few other minor bugs that I, I haven't really uh, gone too in-depth with. I, this isn't my phone in particular. It's one of my friend's phones. And um, I do have to say, though, ultimately, it's quite functional and works quite well for you guys that have the original Vibrance or the original Galaxy S phones or older Android phones, and you're thinking, oh, I don't have the latest and greatest. Again, a little bit of effort and persistence. And... Um, you can get one of these, you can get um, updated ROM installed on your phone as well. So, I mean, you can see the widget works perfectly fine. Um, you can see the settings here, just again, it's the same as every other CM settings. Uh, you got the themes, so you can go ahead and download themes from the Play Store and install various different themes. Um, you know, the launcher and the lock screen and the, uh, let me go here, developer options, obviously. So, hey, see, man, this thing is smooth. I mean, I'm really impressed, really, really impressed with this. Very, very smooth. Uh, it's, it's got features on it that you would get with, again, any other high-end device running this uh, specific build. So I think we're, in, we're installing Google Search here. So let's, okay, let's check out Google now. Tell me the weather. You know, the network is a little off here. But in any case, you can see if you have a working network. Uh, you could set up Google Now. Google Now works fine. Again, you got to flash gaps after you flash the ROM. Uh, just keep that in mind. But everything is fully functional. The weather, um, the clock, obviously. So there you guys go. Again, I'm not too uh, certain about the bugs, but it looks minimal from the looks of just using this on a regular basis right now. Um, other than that, if you guys want to know how to install this or flash this, go ahead and message me or leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, we have some really cool contests on my channel, guys, free accessories. Go ahead and check that out. Uh, again, CM 10.1, 4.2.2, running on an original Galaxy S Vibrant 4G. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.